Hey there, I want to give a quick anecdote about how we got away from um, doing a lot of data entry in QuickBooks. We use QuickBooks, but our primary system is Repair Shopper, and uh, it really does give you enough information to do everything here, and you, even a, a Excel-based accounting system, or QuickBooks, or FreshBooks, or whatever system you want to use, to um, come up with your profit and loss type figures is fine. You don't need any integration, any syncing, any of that stuff. Um, this is just one way to do it and this is how we did it. It made it super easy. So we're going through our day. We're billing people. We've got invoices in here. Um, we mark them as paid. The tech took payment and officially paid. The date that you receive the money is um, what our system is going to use to do the reports. So if you invoice a million people in January and you know they start paying you in February, your numbers are going to reflect those sales happen in February because that's when you got paid on them. Um, I think that's the right way to do it. That seems to be what everyone's doing. So we came up with this little report on the tax tab. Um, this demo account doesn't have a whole lot of good data in it, but you can see this pre-tax subtotal receipts five hundred and seventy-six dollars, and then tax collected fifty-four seventy-two. So we just take this number at the end of every month, copy that, go over to our QuickBooks, and we do a new sales receipt, and we just come up with a fake name here, like walk-in, and we enter a line item here. I just call it journal entry for what month was that? May sales quantity one that amount. We're going to leave it taxable. We're going to change the date on this to like May 1st. Taxable, there's some tax. And we're going to save that. And that's it. So now our profit and loss in QuickBooks is going to show the revenue we did for the month. If we go look at the profit and loss, it'll reflect this. We just did one line item there. So now our taxes can be in QuickBooks. But we don't have to do any syncing, exporting, none of that. Just go make one line item. Your bookkeeper can do this, or if you do your books, you can do this. Super easy. We felt it alleviated the need to do any back and forth stuff. So it made it really easy for us to do this all on our own. We, we did try integration with QuickBooks and other systems, and we just found that it took as long to deal with it as it would have taken to just do it in QuickBooks, and that ends up taking a lot of time. So you can just run your business, do the tickets, do the invoices, forget about it. When you feel like it, after the end of the month, come over here, do a line item. All the reports work out perfectly. The one thing you're obviously missing is that detail of clicking into the profit and loss and clicking in and seeing all the different customers, seeing who's doing what. But we built most of that stuff into Repair Shopper. We've got um, your historical charts so you can see you know how you're doing every month you can see who's your biggest customers by how much they spend you can do much more on the marketing and business management side here than maybe QuickBooks can do we don't have any advanced accounting like forecasting type stuff but customers by money spent soon you'll be able to fire off different marketing campaigns based on spend um, we have automatic email marketing. You can't do that in most accounting packages. So I'm trying to give you everything you need, just what you need, nothing extra. Hopefully we're accomplishing that. And we're happy to add more reports or more features into this um, section if there's things people rely on that'll save you the trouble of going to an accounting package in addition to being here in Repair Shopper. Have fun.